So I just got done from a morning run and I feel fantastic. It's crazy how morning activity makes you feel. And then with the sun shining and the ocean breeze and fresh air, oh my gosh. And there's people running and biking and playing volleyball. Man, I'm feeling good. It feels so great to get out and do something and be around some warmer weather. So uh, definitely enjoying my morning. What's up IGTV? I thought I would do a quick demo of a green smoothie. I have one of these every morning. Just got back from a morning run. I just got up, went straight outside. Usually I have one of these green smoothies before, like right when I get up, so before I do anything. But uh, I just thought I'm going to set up the phone here so you guys can check it out. So I'm going to be chopping it up and explaining what I'm doing here as we roll. So just bear with me here as we get this set up. All right, so we have a few simple ingredients. I need my fancy knife that's actually right here. So we're gonna start with, this is what we got right here. This is my old school blender, not a regular blend tag, but we're gonna make that work. This ginger is actually frozen. I washed it and I washed it and I'm just gonna chop it up. So I got a super sharp knife, love these cut cone knives. So I always recommend sharp knives. And I'm gonna cut this up smaller than I would if I had a more powerful blender. So that's all that was, is like they call it like a thumb of ginger. <laughs> so chop this up fine. I got a half a lemon. That's a half a lemon. Make sure you roll your lemon before you put it in or before you cut it open you get more juice out of it that way and then I'm gonna squeeze that half a lemon in there and this whole recipe is super simple I actually just finished a event and people couldn't believe how good a green smoothie tastes I think a lot of times people don't even give it a chance they're just like oh gross a green smoothie so I'm gonna use a half a cucumber you can use a few more cucumber if you like but that's what I choose. Watch your fingers. Always put the flat end down. I'm gonna cut this in three slices. And then I'm gonna chop it up from there. So make sure that you always put that flat end down. And again, I'm chopping with, um, I'm using this, this blender here. So if you have a better blender, you don't need to chop it up so much. I would just cut that in half and throw it in. If I, if I was using my blend tech. Okay, right. and then we're gonna move on. So that's just cucumber right there, and this is celery. So I use two or three stalks of celery. This doesn't happen to be washed. So I'm wash. I just wash that there. I'm going to chop these ends off because they don't look very nice. Throw that in the compost or for the chickens. And then let me move this camera over just a bit. And then I'm going to chop this up again here. A bit finer than I would usually. Toss that in there. And then we have parsley. If you have cilantro, throw cilantro in there as well. So I don't really measure this parsley. I just say throw in a bunch of parsley. Is that a pun? <laughs> throw in a bunch of parsley. This will make it pulpy, so if that's an issue for you, you should consider how much you're putting in. I love the fresh taste of parsley. And then we have mint here as well. Just got these. The farmer's market. Always try to support local no matter where we are. These stems are a little bit tougher. But I love the fresh, the fresh smell and the fresh taste of fresh mint as well. So, chopping that up. throw some turmeric in there and I'd also throw some cayenne if I had it. I don't have either so 
that's not going in there, but that's a great um, way to start your day now. I have some of this, so this looks a little funny. <laughs> looks a little colored. This is actually um, boiled water. So this is gin ginger and lemon in there, and that's boiled. That's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to fill that up to about there. And that's it. And that's it, so I'm gonna whip that up, and that's a great way to get my green smoothie, get my greens in, antioxidants, phytonutrients, first thing in the morning. I think that I didn't hit the record button, unless it was recording too long. <laughs> oh wait, I did hit the record button. Hopefully I hit the record button on you. Came down for a cruise down to the beach, my bike's right here because I didn't bring my bike lock. I kind of knew that was going to happen. I didn't plan on sitting here, but uh, I brought a book just in case. Check out this view. And that's my view. You know what I was thinking? What I love about the beach or this area, I mean, of course I'm in Los Angeles, but I saw two people with DSLR cameras doing, one was doing something like this. Another person was had a sitting in a chair, it almost looked like a movie director, except the camera was pointing at them. Then I saw someone with a fancy camera taking up some pictures of these million dollar houses out there. And it wasn't a tourist, it was someone that was working for a magazine. And then I see, saw a couple drones, always see drones around here. Of course that's new technology, at least at this point in time. And I feel like you have to surround yourself with People that are doing something like if you want to do something in life you got to surround yourself with people that are ambitious and want to achieve and want to do things and I think maybe that's part of why we like it here so much because it seems like people are doing stuff we want to we want to do stuff too <laughs> we want to achieve and we want to grow and we want to reach new heights we want to help new people and I think you got to surround yourself with those types of people you have to surround yourself with like-minded individuals those that want to achieve just think about if you're sitting in a room and everyone's like no one really cares like no one's doing anything no one's working on their own business someone's slipping through their news feed and someone's watching the latest sitcom or the next uh, latest Netflix I mean I don't know if that's gonna encourage you to be ambitious in your life so I feel like it's important for us to surround ourselves with people that encourage us or influence us positively I always like this quote and it says if you're the smartest one in the room you're in the wrong room and I think sometimes you struggle we struggle to find those individuals that are always working at higher levels but you got to find them out you got to you got to move to another place you got to find a different room you got to go to different conferences whatever it is you got to find it if that's what you want to achieve I'm gonna hang out here and I'm gonna read a book that's something that I do to surround myself with I would say like-minded people or I would call them giants that we step on um, you know, you, you step on steps. People that have been there before you, people that have written about it, people have that have been there before, run successful businesses, have done YouTube channels or Facebook pages that have been successful at it. And I feel like that's the way we can surround ourselves with like-minded individuals as well, especially if it's challenging to get right in front of people. So I'm gonna surround myself with geniuses right now, read myself a book, Check out the sunset.